So what is deep fading in digital communication systems? And we're often shown a picture like this, which is the channel gain over time of a fading channel. And I'm going to write the equation here for a narrow band fading channel where we have a channel gain A, uh, which our symbol gets multiplied by, plus noise. And this channel gain fades over time. And we're plotting here the magnitude of A. That's what's normally plotted and shown to us. And this is narrow band because all the different paths reflecting paths all arrive within the same symbol. And if you want more information on uh, frequency selective fading and, and narrow band fading, uh, there's videos on the channel in the links below. So here's what we often show and we think to ourselves, well, this channel gain looks like it suddenly goes very low at certain times. And this is what typically is called deep fading. So the question is, well, wonder why does it, why does it suddenly go so sharply so low, so sharply? And that's often a question. But actually, I just want to point out, it's really a trick. And it's a very simple trick once it gets pointed out. And that is, we're seeing this. This is often plotted, most often plotted, on the log scale. And that's what causes these to look like this. But they're not really like this. So let me just plot it on the linear scale. And I think that you'll understand and see that it's not exactly a sudden fade, like it looks like here. So because this is the log scale, the high values get compressed, the low values get expanded. If you want more information on this, there's uh, a video on the channel about um, decibels. Uh, and uh, let's see here, this one, I'm just going to plot this on the linear. So let's say that this is actually the half uh, energy point. Uh, and, and so I'm just going to then expand out these. So I'm just plotting all the points where it goes to that on this line here. Um, and I'm going to show what it looks like in the linear. So in the linear case, instead of this being expanded and, and out, it's actually just simply a, a smooth curve in linear. Okay, and this one here is where it goes back down to uh, that halfway. And so what you're really seeing uh, is a, a, a curve, a channel that looks like this. So this is the case in the linear. I'm plotting exactly the same thing, exactly the same channel gain. I'm just plotting it on a linear scale instead of a log scale. So on the linear scale, the, the, the heights here are expanded. I should have probably drawn these heights here a little bit higher on the linear scale. I'm uh, just doing it by freehand. Uh, and these ones are smoothed out. And you'll see that if you generate a curve like this, a low pass curve, uh, and then plot it in a log scale. You can do that in MATLAB yourself. Okay, so I just want to point out uh, deep fading is really, it is fading when you get deconstructive interference from all the different paths and the channel gain goes very low, but it doesn't happen suddenly like this picture looks like it happens. Uh, so it is just a continual change of that channel gain as your handset moves uh, and or you're in a vehicle or you're walking around in digital communications and all the different paths happen to add up deconstructively but it's not a sudden drop like this picture seems to indicate. So if you found this uh, useful, please uh, give it a thumbs up. It helps others to find the video. Um, subscribe to the channel. There's lots more videos on the channel. And check out the webpage in the link below for a fully categorized list of all the videos on the channel.